is going on everyone welcome back to a brand new football manager 2016 video today it's episode 22 in my lfc let's play series we've got two games for you guys today we've got burton albion away from home in the fa cup third round followed by manchester city away from home in the premier league obviously a massive game we've got two big pieces of transfer news to update you on i'm going to show you the first one right now okay so just a quick update before we actually start the gameplay and stuff like that. This was happening whilst I was playing the games offline, obviously against um, who did I play Watford, and I'm just about to play the game against Leicester. We've just signed Mario Icardi. However, Dortmund's bid 26 million for Sadio Mane, and I said no, give me this. So as you can see, 37 and a half million up front, um, five million over 12 months, and then 5.75 million after 50 league appearances. Forty-eight and a half million pounds for Sadio Mane, and they agreed to, you know, to that deal. Crazy. I'm gonna accept. Sadio Mane has been excellent for us, but nearly fifty million pounds for Mane. I'm gonna take that. That is right. As you're gonna see now, I'll just take you over to the transfer history. We have sold Sadio Mane for forty-two and a half million pounds. It's like thirty-eight, rising to forty-eight and a half. But obviously, it's shown up as forty-two and a half million pounds to brush your Dortmund. And yeah, there's a bit of unrest in the fans because obviously he was a key player for us. But they're actually not too bothered considering the price we got. And we've actually brought in Mario Icardi for thirty-nine million pounds. Straight up cash. There's no uh, add-ons or anything like that. I just met his release clause, which means our net spend's gone from being like around thirty million straight back down to. I'm not too sure. I'll take a quick look at it actually. Okay, if we go right to the bottom here. We should be able to see it. I can't really see around my monitor. Right, there we go. So my net spend is negative 1.5 million. Crazy. Considering Man City's is 111 million pounds and we are one. Well, we're above them on goal difference anyway. Um, the games we've played offline anyway. So we played Watford and we got our second defeat of the season. And it was it was like Leicester City of last season. We absolutely dominated proceedings. I want to say it was like Leicester City of last season. I mean, they played like Leicester. And they just hit us on breaks. I'll show you the second goal just so you can kind of get an idea of what I mean by that. It was just, it was actually, it was horrible to be fair. We'll just take a look at it. So, I don't think it's actually going to show you the full thing. But you can see it's literally a counter attack. They run through and they score. So, fair play to them. But then our second game, as you can see, Mario Icardi has signed. And he got two goals on his debut. Starting really well. Good to see. 3-0 win over Leicester City. Really, really happy with that. Excellent result, to be fair. So, I'm quite pleased with that. And then, obviously, we've got Burton Albion and Man City today. But also, we're going to actually get to see who we get in the next round before we even play our match because we play on Monday. So, if we draw all teams, we will be at home to Brighton if we do beat Burton Albion today, which is good to know. I feel like I've cleared everything up. I don't think there's anything else to touch upon. So, we'll go ahead and pick our team for this game against Burton. Obviously, it's going to be rotated. Um, just to rest players and so on. Uh, we'll take a look. Coutinho was rested for the weekend. Um, I'll go like this. Um, and then we shall bring in... Actually, shall I or shall I go attacking? I'm going to actually play some of the kids. The majority of the kids, actually. I know people have said in the past, why would you do this? You know, blah, blah, blah. We want to see a good run in the cup. But you're not going to, you know, do it because you're doing this, you're doing that. But honestly... I don't really care right now. I want to have a good run in the. Um, I want to have a good run in the Europa League, and I want a good crack of the league because the league's really opening up now. I think we're only six points behind Arsenal, so we do still have a chance at the league title, which is why I'm, um, you know, making quite a lot of changes. I think Jose Gaia is injured, isn't he? Or was I just resting him? No, I was just resting him, which is good to know. Um, I was resting players anyway against Leicester for the most part. So, um, I'll bring in Grojic, or shall I know, I'll bring in Sergi Sampa, wherever he's got to these days. He's probably right down here somewhere, there he is. Um, that's the team we're going to go with, obviously heavily rotated players playing in unnatural positions, but... Sorry, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Um, you know, I want to I wanna go through, but at the same time, I just want to be... I want everyone to be fit for the game against Man City. If we can go to the Etihad and get a draw, then that's a big result for us. But that's the team we're going to go with to the Pirelli Stadium, I believe it's called, Burton Albion. We recently played them in real life, yeah, the Pirelli Stadium. Um, Cameron Brannigan needs a match number. I've given number 45 to Akazi. He wanted number 9. I couldn't give him it because Origi already had it, so I've given him 45. A bit like Mario Balotelli, actually, isn't it? Um, I'll just go pick up where you left off. And that's what we're going to go. 
uh, I've got a feeling we're probably going to get knocked out purely because of the lack of strength in the team. But we, we, you never know. We may end up just turning up. Chance for ourselves. One of our young uh, regens, I think he is, Morata. I, God knows, does put it in. But it is a counter-attack for Burton Albion. Only two minutes in. And it's a shot, but it's well wide of the mark. Leno to take this goal kick. He's going to send it right long to that player again. I don't know how to pronounce his name. It was someone the head of youth development brought in. Sergi Samper in possession now. Here's James Milner to Connor Randall. Randall inside to James Milner. Milner to Murata. Murata again. I'm just going to call him that kid. Here's Randall into Milner. Milner in possession. What can he do? He gets the ball into that kid and the kid scores. I've got to learn this guy's name. I can't see. He's a regen. I don't know who he is. Andre Murata. I can't even see his name. He's moving too fast. Is he number 31? Yeah, he is. Muratori. I don't know, but I've got a feeling I'm going to have to learn this kid's name because he may have a big future at the club. He has just scored his first goal for Liverpool. But it looks like Burton are probably going to try and respond pretty much straight away, but Sacco and co. deal with it for now, but Palmer's bringing it back forward for the Mott Alberto Moreno got up. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. How lucky is Alberto Moreno? That pass back was ridiculous. But then for them to hit the post twice, there was an open goal and he just kept hitting the post. We are so lucky. Ball goes in towards Sacco. Oh, Lovren's there, but it's Sacco who does tuck it away. I didn't think there was going to be a chance from that. And it's that guy again, that Muratari. Honestly, don't know how to say his name, but it's an assist and a goal for him now. Actually, the assist isn't going to go to him, is it? Because it was knocked around, but it is 2-0 to ourselves. Milner trying to get forward on this right-hand side. Tries to find Sergi Samper. It comes to Muratari. And we've lost possession. But we've regained it pretty fast. Here's Sacco to Alberto Moreno. Into that kid once more. Brannigan. Finds Divock Origi. 3-0. There we go. Game over. I was a bit concerned that we wouldn't have managed to win with this team that we've put out. But we've, you know, we've dominated proceedings. Which is good to see. We could even go and get a fourth here before half time. Divock Origi trying to get forward. Here's James Milner. Oh, wow. That could be four. It should be four. Here's Connor Randall in possession to Murata I Randall. Sampa. Loses out in the middle of the park, but Connor Randall regains possession pretty fast. Just keep losing possession, but then regain. Here's Sergi Sampa. And again, we've just lost possession through him once more. So Burton are probably going to try and break. Ball right through the center. And um, Burton Albion have scored. It was so obvious the second that guy made the run through. It was just completely obvious that they were going to score there. Moreno driving forwards pretty much straight from kickoff. And the guy who has just scored for Burton Albion is about to be sent off. And there we go. He has been sent off. And that's pretty much the game won for us. Can't see Burton actually um, getting back into this now. Maybe one final chance. Connor Randall in possession to James Milner. Milner gets brought down and it's a penalty. We missed about three or four on the bounce. We've scored our last two. And James Milner is about to step up for this one. Maybe he can make it 4-1. James Milner. Oh, he's missed. Oh, my God. This is crazy. I think we've had seven penalties this season. We've scored two and missed about five. But it's not going to matter. We are going to see the game out anyway. It would be a bit more annoying if, you know, this game, you know, if that rested on something like all the other penalties we have missed. But it didn't matter in this instance. We do go on and get the victory. We go through to the next round where we will play Brighton and Hove Albion at home in the FA Cup fourth round. Really would be nice to put a cup run together, you know, in the FA Cup and especially the Europa League as well. But obviously the league is our focus and that's what we're going to go and focus on right now as we play Man City. Okay, so it is game day against Manchester City. This is the team we are going with. I'm still on the lookout for a centre-back to uh, partner Nicola to partners to partner Nicholas Shule. Um no luck so far just yet and there's a bit of you know Joel Mata basically isn't going to be available for a month now. He's gone to the African Cup of Nations which is something we've kind of dodged with Sadio Mane. We've just basically got 42 million pounds for him and then the first month he won't even be available for Borussia Dortmund. So 
that's what you get there. We're still trying to move on James Milner, no one's really interested in him. Ovi Ajari, who actually played in that Burton game, is actually out of contract, which is a bit of a strange one, but, you know, I still played him. Uh, that's the team we're going with anyway. Uh, obviously, going with the two centre midfielders today, because it's away, to, away from home against a really, really good team. You just want a bit more defensive cover. City, actually quite defensive themselves. Aguero quite isolated up front with the four-man midfield of uh, De Bruyne, Silva, Torre and Nazari. Gundogan sitting in behind them. A very, very solid team for City, to be fair. Uh, just going to say pick up where we left off once again. And that, that seems to motivate them. I'm just going to change that to defensive. And we'll get into this game against Man City. So the highlights are on extended. But this is the first highlight we've got. 22 minutes in. Emery Shan with the shot. It is blocked. Klein's going to try and get forward now. Klein gets the ball into the box. In towards Firmino. It's an easy save in the end for... Man City's goalkeeper, but, you know, at least the first highlight was to us, and there is another one straight after, but it looks like it's probably going to be to City. De Bruyne in possession, ball out wide to Eric Dyer. Dyer into Aguero, and what a block that was. I think it was Nicholas Schule, I think, number five, that did actually get the block. That was heading straight for goal as City with another chance. De Bruyne's in behind, and again, Sacco gets it clear this time. Bit of key defensive work there for us. Klein to Firmino. Firmino to Tillemans. Tillemans into Henson. This could be another chance for us here. Firmino. Klein. Klein onto Emre Shan. Bit of a loose ball nearly. City nearly recover possession from that. Jose Gaia into Coutinho. Coutinho to Gaia. Gaia trying to get forward. A lot of men pressing us here. Tillemans, Henderson, Emre Shan. If we can just create a bit of space like that. Icardi's in and we have scored. It's uh, Is it offside? It's not offsides. We have taken the lead. And what a signing this guy has become. He's got three goals in two games. And I even substituted him in the other match. What a goal. And we've taken the lead at the Etihad. Coutinho with the ball in. And this doesn't look good for us. I thought we could have got a second. But maybe not. Maybe City are actually going to get a goal back just before half time. Nazari moving forward now. Ball's going to come in from Nazari Klein. Partially gets it away. Firmino tries to help it on its way. David Silva now. Gundogan, back out wide to, uh, it's actually City's left back, Bernat. Here's Samri Nazari, Silva with the shot, and it's just, wow, that was just wide of the post. Okay, so we are winning a half time, and we're just going to say I'm pleased with it. But again, Felipe Coutinho, the missing man in big games, he's just gone missing once more in this match. Um, disappointing to see. I'm going to bring Barboza on, I know he's not even much better than him in terms of uh, turning up for big matches, but at least he's going to offer us maybe something that Coutinho is not a bit of pace. So that's what we're going to go out with in the second half. Hopefully we can, you know, keep hold of this victory against City. You never know though with Man City, they are a really good team. Silva moving forward now for City. Ball into Nazari. Nazari round the back and it was simple as that for Man City, for God's sake. Kevin De Bruyne makes it uh, one all. It was just far too easy. The ball just swung round the back of our defence. Just tapped home. It's simplest goal I've ever seen. City with another chance from a corner. We do get it away partially through Nicholas Schule, but City are going to come again. And De Bruyne again troubling us. I can't help but feel City are probably going to, you know, have the uh, momentum now and end up potentially winning this match. City again with another corner and Gundogan comes close himself. City just pressure after pressure. I'm not even getting a chance to breathe between these highlights. It's chance after chance. De Bruyne into Yaya Torre. Torre to Eric Dyer. And City are just going to come again. You can tell already. De Bruyne, Silva, Eric Dyer down this right hand side. Aguero, there we go, 2-1. I told you City were going to win. It's just far too easy for them. Far, far too easy. Okay, so I'm going all out now. I'm going to control. I'm going with a practically five men up front. So we really need to get something out of this game. I just don't think it's going to happen. As Tillyman's actually just picked up a knock as I'm about to leave him on. Oh, that's just so frustrating. Looks like City are going to see this victory out. Actually, there is one more chance. If they go and make it 3-1, then that's just going to be so annoying because they really don't even deserve a victory. Like, this game's been so evenly matched. Or are we actually going to get a chance? Barbosa's in. Oh, for God's sake, seriously? Looks like City are going to see this game out. Just over 20 seconds left. So disappointing. I feel like we, you know, deserved at least a draw from this match. 
but it's just not going to happen. City are going to get three points. Really dents our title chances and it dents our position in the top four. I think we do move down to fourth. City do get the victory. I'm really not pleased with that. Yeah, so we are down to fourth. And United have a game in hand as well. That's just disappointing. Arsenal, six points clear with a game in hand as well. Uh, it's tough to take. Yuri Tillyman's out for say, five to six days. Not too bad. Uh, it's just disappointing, especially considering we had the lead in the match. We should have been getting at least something from that. Okay, in the next episode, we're going to have the Premier League game against Chelsea, followed by the game against Tottenham in the Premier League. And I'm going to play the game against Brighton in the middle offline. Or I may actually do three matches in one episode. I'm not too sure just yet. But definitely Chelsea and Tottenham in the next episode. If you have enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. But thank you all for watching. Until next time, goodbye.